Well, mining in all its forms has been important to the area ever since pioneer days. The, uh, the history of the area has involved mining for materials as diverse as gold and copper and lead and zinc, silver and platinum. Um, mining is ongoing. We get virtually everything other than, other than wood and paper and wool and cotton is coming from a mine. So you may not recognize that, that that's where it's coming from, but it's all coming out of the ground. The miners that come to see the geologists and find out about their mines many times will bring ore samples or will have in their minds a picture of the ore that they're working with. And if we look through the collections, we can look at the ore and see which minerals are in the ore, which mines that have produced ore are similar to the one that, that the miner might bring in. We can also look at the metal samples themselves if they're mining for, for gold, for example, free gold. Um, wire gold that's, that's taken out of a load mine has a different look than placer gold and they tell us things like which district the golds come from, how far the golds move since it came out of the rock, um, a whole bunch of different things like that that are important to the miners as they try to figure out where to go look on their claims or near their claims for more gold. A big part of our job is okay. we make geologic maps. The geologic maps are used for a wide range of things. They're used to understand geologic hazards like landslides and earthquakes. They're used to look at the distribution of aquifers and, and that tells us different things about the groundwater. But they're also used to look for mineral deposits. The other thing that the Department of Geology and Mineral Industries has is an extensive library of geologic publications. And these include everything from geologic maps made by the department to theses by masters and PhD students from all across the United States who have worked here. We also have files that contain information on specific mines. In addition to the files, we have oversized maps that show what's going on underground in many of the mines. Usually the maps, although they may not be real specific as to the exact location, of the mine. If you can find one of the entrances and figure out which one it is, then the maps are usually good enough that you can plot the other or find the other openings based on that and see whether or not they've caved in or whether or not they're open and, and how safe they are. When the department was first started in the 1930s during the depression, uh, part, of the, part of the motivation for that was to help the miners uh, find productive deposits. So the Grants Pass Field Office of the department has been here for the past 70 years and this year 2009 we're gonna to have to shut the department office here down and I'll be relocating to the Portland office so people that need to contact a geologist about the geology in Southwest Oregon will need to call me up there. Um, it's gonna be a big change for me and it's a big change for the department but it's something we have to do.